Hello boys and girls and welcome to what is going to be another episode of Space Engineers. I, suppose, I said for Space Engineers the first time I tried to record this. Um, so today I'm going to be building a welder. So this thing here is a really small compact version of a welder. As you can see we can jump in. I'm going to head over towards the ship which I've been, I've been toying around with um, so far. It is quite large. We have got 13 mods on this server, so if you want to know what they are, uh, if you're curious, um, I'm sure you can guess some of them. I think it's station hallways, uh, warp cores, warp drives, uh, and a few other really cool things. So this ship can fly inside here, and it can also, um, you know, it can actually fly. I actually placed, I actually built all of these blocks here with... Um, so place I actually built all those blocks here with this um, with this welder it actually fits in there, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, that's really awesome. Uh, quite a sleek design. Obviously, you can make it bigger and smaller. <laughs> Trying to get a hold of those those gyros. Um, you can obviously go for a bigger design like this yellow one here, which is what we also, we've also been using. Those two large containers really help out, but you know it doesn't fit into tight tight spaces you can just we can just change these heads from grinders to welders pretty easily and it works out pretty good so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a quick jump and we're gonna put a few blocks down so that way we're not spending too much time on the building and I'll show you how it gets done All right, guys one second okay so I've gone I've gone and placed a landing gear and I built up a few spaces so we're ready to go this is a large conveyor and then we're gonna chuck a um, a medium container right behind it. The lat, oops, you can't see it. The um, the hatches is there and sorry, is on sort of facing each other there. I'll get rid of that out of my hand. Now, as you can see in this ship here, we've actually placed the cockpit right above the um, conveyor, so that way you can actually just look straight over the welder, which is something we're going to be putting on now, and that way you can pretty much, pretty easily uh, weld without having to worry about trying to look for it when you're in the cockpit, because it does make it quite easy to see. So when we've so we've done that, so we've solved our I'm just going to jump that out of my hand for the moment. We've solved our welding problem, how to connect to the welder, and then also storage for the um, storage for the welder. Um, as you can see here, though, we have. A, we don't have any hatches on the top, which is sort of a bummer for us. But at the same time, we can figure that we can fix that as well because what we're going to do is we're going to actually put a connector on the back. I'm just going to go to find it, and we put the welder on now so we can switch out for that one there. And because we've got the hatch at the back, we can just spin that over like that, and there we go. So we've got the connector which connects to the inventory, which connects to the connector, which connects to sorry conveyor which connects to the welder. So that way we've got plenty of power there. And then what we need to do now is we're going to Whoops, I want five, not six. So there's a hatch out of the top of that one there and a hatch there. And that'll allow us to put on some uh, reactors, which I have as six. And then we want to point those hatches to... That is definitely not the one I... That is what I wanted. Um, I want to point the hatches towards the conveyor and... Wow, having trouble there. Uh, six again. So there you go. There you can see. So we're going to put four on this so we have plenty of power. Not that we... Well, we, we may need it. We may need it. Uh, but once we have those two there, we're going to chuck a couple of gyros on. The gyros are to give us that ability to spin around in circles, which is a lot of fun and also uh, very, very needed. Now, what we do need to do is... Oops, I can't place that on top of those, obviously. Can I really not do that? Oh, that's because that's in the middle. Understood. Understood. So the only thing we really need to do now is we're missing some power and have I not put any thrusters in that one? I did not. Right well we put all those out there and what we can do is grab those small thrusters there and as you can see we've got some reverse thrusters but I'm going to put them on later. I want some side thrusters and I've just forgotten how to how to turn them pretty much. So one each side should be enough for this style of a build. As you can see it comes out one on either side which is fine. Um, we do need one that faces straight up and of course I've got the wrong one and we're going to need probably a... S no, you know what? We'll, we'll, oh, you know, I'll put two in because I'm going to put two down as well. So while we have the um, the up thrusters, we're going to chuck some... Whoops, that's meant to be a down thruster, not an up thruster. Dunk. Um, what do I want to grab now? I'm going to grab that one there and you change it around so you get a nice down thrust. Um, right. What are we, what's that height? Yeah, I can put, I'll put one there. I'm going to put one on the exact same side over here. 
So as we can see, we've got up, down, left, and right, and then we all need um, some back thrusters, which are pretty easy to put on. Something like this. Oops. I hope I can actually place these blocks a bit better. Um, but it's alright. It's easy when you're only placing one block. And darn it. Darn it. I got rid of that one as well out of my inventory. Um, I think it was insert. Get it round. Excellent. Press back. And there we go. So as you can see, we got up, we got down, we got left and right. And the only other thing we can use is maybe some reverse thrusters. These are probably one of the most important blocks you'll actually put on your ship. Because uh, if you forget about these, you are never going to stop, ever. <laughs> ever, ever. So that's going to look pretty good. And that looks actually really good. I'm actually really happy with how that's come out. Um, the only thing I'm just going to quickly do is I know the welder that I'm going to grab doesn't have bulletproof glass in it. So I'm just going to build the cockpit first. And there we go. So I'm going to jump into this welder here. So this is going to show you sort of how quick you can, you can put things together. Uh, grab G, pull the welder down to your hotbar. And there we go. So nice compact welder here. Just pretty much hold and build. And as you can see, it starts filling in. And it fills in a fair amount of blocks around. And I must be missing something. Oops, I am missing something. That's all right. I'll come and build some of these bits. And then hopefully we'll be all right. As you can see, it's building deep through as well, which is great for us. So <laughs> it does take a bit of time. But you can build multiple blocks at once. And for some reason, it does not look like those are finishing. Oh no, just, just taking the time. That's alright, that's alright, we can always come back to that. So you just take your time, dig away, <laughs> dig away, build away, and it fills in sort of blocks in the middle, so that's one thing that this, uh, this will benefit us from, is it does build quite quickly, and it does build the parts that we need quite quickly. Now, if you're wondering what you're missing out on, you can go down here and have a look. Ah, oh, we're out of small steel tubes, right. Well, I actually have some small steel tubes on me, so... I can finish that there. Now, what are these? These are probably missing the same sort of thing. No, for some reason, they were just not working. Um, well, I would suggest normally maybe putting a bit of protection on um, on the outside of your ship. Actually, you know what I might do is I might just put a little bit here. Um, actually, no, I don't even need it. No, it's fine. It's fine. I was say you might need some protection sometimes, just in case you're worried that um, your ship's going to fly away, but that's fine. And as you can see, we're just missing one here, and I was missing the small steels tube, so that's fine. That's the one that I thought that was missing. So as you can see, these pretty much look very similar, apart from... I think it's apart from the placement of this, actually, which I can change. I might do that, because I, I do like the other placement that I had a little bit better. So, go to six. Home? Nope. Nope. I'll get this eventually. There we go. So there we go. It's a bit more compact this way. Come to this side. And these ones are pretty easy to build. Now, the reason why a welder is so valuable is because when you're building bigger ships, you're going to need a lot more units per block you build. So the ship up here, right, that's at a light armor. That's only using 25 steel plates at one time. If you use a large, um, sorry, heavy armor on a large ship, that's 150 steel blocks or steel plates at once. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. So as you can see, there we are, ready to go. There is actually no power in it, which is sort of a, a bummer, but we can just go over here. In fact, I select the inventory, and I'm going to go to reactor, and there we go, we've got 336. We'll pull out five of those, and we'll come back over. And pretty much if we just go over here and click on... Oops, they got an extra one there which I'll get rid of. Didn't get rid of them the first time. You can click on the inventory here. It should filter through straight into all the containers. And there we go. Brilliant. So now that's on. We've got gyros. I can actually get rid of this footing. I don't actually attach my <laughs> my ships to the station. I just let them hover around. And as you can see, we jump into here. And we have a wonderful flying ship. Pretty much done within, you know, a few seconds of, of when it was done. Obviously, we're sort of, you know, me, we might need a few extra... Um, a little bit of power on the sides but you know it works perfectly that connector on the back there will allow us to dock with the station here through its connector and allow us to use it um, the only other thing I wanted to talk about right before we finish up here is you, you may think you know it's great that I have a it's great that I have a ship like this but what happens if I want to add more to it and then that is where we come down here and you're gonna grab one of these 
angled conveyors. I'm going to get rid of that and grab that welder back again. And the reason you grab one of those angled ones is you can actually turn them and they will be a valid space for this to work. So, and by that I mean you can actually attach the welder here and it'll be part of the system properly and well and that way we can use it pretty easily. Grab that welder and there we go. The one, th the one also thing that I'll give you a, um, a, a heads up on is if you're actually using this, darn I've actually run out of components, that's right, I'll grab the, the welder behind me and we'll use that. Oh, I'm out of steel tubes. You got to be kidding. <laughs> um, the one thing I will I will tell you about before I leave off here is that if you are using whoops, if you are using a a ship like this built by someone else, the welders um, if the welders are built by someone else, anything they build is going to be part of them. Oh, okay. As long as as long as it's got what I wanted, excellent. Um, anything you build will become their property. So if I build a cockpit with this welder, even though that I was the one with the welder, it was shared to me, at the moment it seems that uh, it is locked to use. As in, there you go, it went from red to yellow, which means that it is able to be used. I'll come over here and double check this one's finished as well, and there you can see a quick little bump there, but the inert inertia dampeners fixed us there, and that's... Oh Jesus, I've turned that off. Be careful when you jump out not to press Y, <laughs> like I've done just there. Now stop. <laughs> that could have floated away for a very long time. So as you can see we've turned our compact into a bit larger of a ship here. So we jump in here you can see all three down there. I've got to quickly pull that welder down there and there you go. We've got nothing to weld at the moment but let's quickly grab some plates and we'll f the final thing for this will be to show you how you can weld things with it and how well it works. Uh, I'll just chuck some of this stuff back. I don't need it all anymore. Pull, you know, 1200 exactly what I want. <laughs> Nearly keep trying to go to the wrong ship. So you have to either select this here or you can select the connector at the back. We can go through there. Uh, and I want the medium. It's probably better if I just type it in here. Medium cargo container. As you can see it's slowly dispersing that uranium into all of the reactors equally. And there we go. So I'm going to fly up over here and have a quick look at this ship. If you want to go, if you want to have a look at this ship uh, as it's done further on, please leave a comment below to tell me um, you're interested to see or to have you know to have a look as, as the progress goes along it's pretty much just a shell here so you got to get pretty close but as you can see you know <laughs> my friend painted my ship what a jerk <laughs> but it, it's still it's still pretty good right um, it saves you so much time so this is deploying 25 plates per per placement and you know it's holding what is you know the 1100 that the 1200 I put in there, but with a medium container, it can hold up to 80,000 liters, which, which is better than the 4,000 we have on um, our personal inventory, and it also can do multiple at once. So that is also a benefit. Like if you set it up, so if you press Z, turn your, turn your initial dampeners off, and you press forward, you know you can sort of keep going. I haven't really lined it up properly, but you know you can do something like that, and just pretty much just fly straight out. And it'll just weld it continually. Oh, I'm gonna turn it back on. Oh, <laughs> I'm having trouble. But there you go. So that's pretty good. Um, in the no time it took, I also painted his ship a bit pink. So, <laughs> whoops. Okay, guys. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. If you've liked it and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. A like always helps. And chuck anything you want in the comments below. But as always, have a good day. Sit out.